Hey, it's in time watchman. I'm back. Uh, gonna bend the bow on that apple juice. Guys, I want to talk to you about something uh, very, very, very important for just a minute. If you know someone that's got cancer, you know, they tried this and tried that, can I, can I throw something out at you? You won't hurt nothing by doing it. If you take three parts maple syrup, one part baking soda, and ever how much you do, remember it's three to one ratio, and you bring it to a boil and you let it cool, you bring it to a boil again and let it cool, and they deposit that maple syrup and that baking soda in them, chances are that it's going to help them more than chemotherapy. I'm not advising you to do that over chemotherapy if that's what you're doing. I'm not a doctor. But let me explain something to you. The good Lord made the maple tree, okay? The maple tree is a 100% natural sugar in that syrup. And the baking soda has been proven. It's not been recommended by the FDA. I mean, no, it hasn't. You know. But if you take the three parts maple syrup, the one part, baking soda, you bring it to a boil, cool it, bring it to a boil again, cool it, and take it ever how you can. What happens is the sugar in the maple syrup draws the cancer to it because cancer feeds on sugar, okay? But it feeds on refined sugar. This is all natural sugar. You understand me? Once it gets there, the baking soda is attached to it. The baking soda destroys the cancer as it's eating the natural sugar in the maple syrup okay i'm not telling you that this is your way out but i'm telling you you will not hurt by trying it okay so don't send me a lawsuit or an email because your parent or your sister or your brother died from cancer okay god put everything we needed on this earth that we need to survive we become so adapted and so Accustomed, if that's, if that's the word I can use, to just run to the doctor when we got a cough and a cold and a sickness, and the first thing they're going to give you is an antibiotic. An antibiotic is the worst thing you could ever put in your body. God gave us natural things to heal us. If you suggest that I do a video on herbal supplements, I've got tons of that. I have got tons of it that we use. We do not use a doctor. Do you understand me? Our last two children that God gave us. We did not use a doctor. We did not use a midwife. We don't need them. We had them home birth in a little kitty pool. And my wife, the uh, Lord have mercy, the best woman in the world she is. We prayed about it, and we extended our faith in God and our our parents, uh, her parents and my parents, my mother. They thought, you know, well, they had reservations, but if that's what we want to do, that's what we wanted to do. And my oldest sister will tell you right now, if you knew her, that we have faith in God. The one now, she's four years old, and she's telling her to lie or not. She barely ever has been sick. The two-year-old has barely ever been sick. She's Her complexion and the four-year-old's complexion is a whole lot better than mine could ever be. Both of them were breastfed. You know, I told my mama, and y'all gonna love this, you guys that know me and have grown to appreciate my, uh, my uh, humor. I told my mother one time she'd have breastfed me, I'd have been 6'4", but I'm only 5'7". That's the only good day. But uh, what I'm trying to get at is this. You don't have to feed the kids the garbage, that Similac and all that. A lot of that comes from China, got melamine in it, and destroy your kids right now. If you're thinking about having a kid at this point in time, you're already pregnant. I would consider that you would uh, explore breastfeeding that baby because that's the way God intended for it to be. That's why he put the breast on you, ma'am, was to feed your child. Okay? 
we're going to have to get to a point in time that we have to depend on each other's knowledge. Do you understand me? You guys have a lot of things out there that I don't know. I'm only putting out a little bit that I know. I hope and pray that what I've said and what I'm trying to do will make a difference in the lives and hearts of people across America, Canada, and the whole world. If somebody overseas gets this, I'm with you too, bro. I'm with you too, sister. But if you look in the background, I've tilted the video up some. I want to go back to the preparation other than food and water. If you notice behind me, I do have A1 sauce. I do have the olive oil. I do have the mustard. I do have the ketchup. I have the Kikaman soy sauce. You know, I've also, uh, thank God for my father-in-law, we've also got us something that I want to encourage you to get if you don't have it. Get you a wok skillet. He gave it to my uh, second and oldest daughter for her birthday. It's been a Mac Daddy help. You don't have to use a stove. It works off 110. You can put the whole meal in that one thing and keep stirring it and cooking it. And, it, and I mean, even if you only have a generator, you won't hardly burn any fuel to use it. You know, camping stoves are good. I've got a grill that I use uh, a lot of times, most time to cook. You know, it, and it runs off the 100 pound propane tanks that I bought that are about as tall as me. I bought them myself, I didn't rent them. Do not rent stuff because if they go under, they're going to come get it and say that your rental is null and void. Yeah, I would suggest that you would get you a propane tank that is not rented if you can. Because if they go under, they're coming to get your tank and they're going to tell you that your contract has been breached because the company is bankrupt. They're going to take your tank, they're going to take your gas too. That is something to think about, okay? You know, I keep looking around, I keep looking at all this stuff, and I can make tons and tons and tons of videos. Can I go back to a minute for the vehicles, okay? All these series of videos are compiled, and I guess it's just like you throw it up there and it all come back down together. But bear with me for a moment. You know, I talked with you about your oil, your oil filter, your fuel filters. I talked with you about the, the serpentine belts on the new vehicles. But here's another thing you've got to have, and I'll show you. If you'll get a pair of these, they come in threes. You can go to your local Lowe's dealer and get them at Lowe's Channel Lock, mainly USA. I'm not talking about that China bull crap that ain't worth it. I mean, uh, look, it ain't worth a darn. I will about said something I shouldn't have said, but in any event, that makes me mad too about the uh, the uh, North American Free Trade Agreement, the World Trade Order, and all that. I just don't want to get into it because that's another, that is another can of worms we'll open up and fish with later. But you need to get you some American-made tools, basic tools, some channel locks, three different sizes. You need a set of screwdrivers. You need some Phillips. You need some flat. You need some of the hex heads and things of that nature. You need to buy them, and you need to buy American-made, because if you don't buy American-made, you're going to break the crap, and then you're going to be pissed, and you're going to throw it, and you're going to get mad, and it ain't going to be no good. Okay? Buy you some American-made wrenches. If I may, I would like to get up and go. Uh, I'll be right back. Well, never mind. I'm just doing... Uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Hold on. Listen, guys. See that? That's right. Goes all the way up to seven eighths. Get you a set of standing wrenches made in America, not the China made crap. Okay? It goes from a uh, quarter to seven eighths. Most of what you've got on your vehicle, that will do for. I would also go and I would get me a set of uh, half inch sockets. Think about what I'm telling you. You're not going to be able to run down to the mechanic when he ain't there, okay? Get you a set of sockets that goes up to there. I've got wrenches that go up to two and a half inches. You know why I have that? That's my own business. But you, you need to look at what you own and what you have, what you're going to have to work on. Get you some instructional videos. Talk to somebody. Get on the internet now. Print it off now. Compile you a booklet, a booklet that clips open like my girls have. And, and, and by gosh, if you, get, it, get it and put it in there. Have you a heading? Well, this is how I change my oil. Well, this is how I do this. This is how I do that. Anything that comes mechanical, you're not going to be able to run down and get somebody at the Ford dealership or anywhere else or local mechanic to do it. You may be able to board it through the mechanic if you live in the country in the rural areas like I do. And you may be able to get that done. I do it myself. I've been changing my own oil for a while. You know, I feel like the more I can learn, the better I am. 
I'll be back in another part. Don't change the dial.